Hi everyone, Vacha here from Recording Studio 9 and thanks for joining me again today. Today's video is about how to do side chain compression in Cakewalk by BandLab DAW. I will do a quick recap of what compression and side chain compression is and if you want to learn more about it, I'm sure there's plenty of videos out on YouTube you can actually watch, but here's a quick recap. A compressor basically is a device that as a signal coming through once that input signal passes the threshold that you have set it will start compressing it or turning the volume down of the output so the louder your input signal the more volume goes down and the less output it goes out now side chain compression is slightly different and might be a little bit confusing because the signal that turns that compressor or volume down is your third signal coming through which affects the main signal now the main signal will come through and go go straight through the compressor doesn't matter what the threshold setting is because that threshold setting is determined by the second signal coming into the compressor as a side chain let's say the music is playing and doesn't matter what threshold you put there's no change in volume at the output as soon as the signal comes through as a second one and triggers the threshold, the compressor starts turning down depending how loud the second signal is coming through that affects the first signal going through. In the radio world, it's called ducking. So basically there'll be background music playing and as soon as the announcer starts talking, it ducks the actual music down so that you can actually hear the announcer and then as soon as the announcer finishes it the music comes back up and for this video that's the demonstration i'm going to use i'm going to have a music playing and then i have a vocal track and see how the vocal affects the compression or the music level of the music track in hope that they will actually give you a better understanding what sidechain compression is but in this video i'm also going to show you how you can actually have that effect in Cakewalk by BandLab. So without any delay, let's go into my laptop and I'll show you how it's done. So I've got Cakewalk by BandLab open. I have two tracks, one track which is uh, music and another track is a vocal that I just recorded. So let's have a listen how it sounds where when we actually have the, the two levels the same. So let me just open up my mixer. There we go and about the same level so let's see how it actually sounds whether you're going to be able to understand my voice this is a demonstration how you can use a side chain compressor in cakewalk by bandlab that allows you to duck down the main music or the initial source track by the second track now, I'm not sure about you, but my voice certainly, you couldn't understand what the hell I was talking about because the music is too loud. So one way to do about it is obviously, as it's playing, we can actually adjust the, you know, the volume, but I'm going to show you in this demonstration how we can use sidechain compression. In many the other DAWs, it works differently. There's, they have different routing, audio routing system, but in Cakewalk, it's, um, it's hidden, but it's quite easy. So this is how we do. Let's open up our plugins and let's get dynamics and let's put our compressor. We want to put the compressor right there. We can adjust the levels as we need to, but this is as a standard compressor because this will actually compress the music, not when the vocal is on, but every time. Let's have a quick uh, listen. This is a demonstration how you can use a side chain compressor, as you can hear, in Cakewalk by BandLab, that allows you to duck down the main music or the initial source track by the second track. Okay, as you can hear, it just you know compresses it down the music, but it's got no relation to my vocals. And to be able to do side chain compression in Cakewalk by BandLab. Let's add sidechain compression. 
basically go into your um, console. It's going to move up into the send. Now I cannot really see the send, and most likely because I have sends disabled. So here you can actually enable and disable what part of your console is visible. So if you're not going to use, let's say, any of the um, pro channel, you can certainly turn them off. So I have more room. So if we don't want to see any of the icons, we can turn them off. Gives us more room. And we can use the send. Now what we want to do is send our vocal track, which is track number two, into our compressor of track number one. Because we put in Sonatus compressor here, as you can see, it's side input for that compressor. Now this only works with Sonatus compressor and few others, but Sonatus already comes with Cakewalk as part of its installation package anyway, so you can use that compressor. So we click here. Now we are sending the same signal into the compressor as well. So let's give it a try now and see how it actually works. This is a demonstration how you can use a sidechain compressor in Cakewalk by BandLab that allows you to duck down the main music. Notice how the music is compressed only when my vocal comes on. So I'm just going to do a drastic one so that I, we can get maybe about minus 20 dB of gain reduction and you will be able to hear how it actually works. This is a demonstration how you can use a sidechain compressor in Cakewalk by BandLab that allows you to duck down the main music or the initial source track by the second track. And as you speak, the volume goes down of the music and back up again as you stop. There we go. That's how you can do sidechain compression in Cakewalk by BandLab using the Sonatus compressor. Let's try the same thing with another compressor that I know that it works. So I'm just going to remove Sonatus from there. And another one that uh, I have tried and it works is uh, Melda Production M compressor. I'm just going to put that into, again, into the music track. Here it is. And it does have sidechain input available. Okay, so it's the same thing again. We go into Sends, and we've got M Compressor here. This is a demonstration how you can use a sidechain compressor in Cakewalk by BandLab that allows you to duck down the main music or the initial source track by the second track. And as you speak, the volume goes down of the music and back up again as you stop. And there we go. That's another great uh, compressor that you can actually use. And you also got all the uh, metering system here. The M compressor is part of the free bundle, but normally you will have advertising at the bottom. But if you pay... I'm not sure how much uh, it is. It's a very minimal amount. You can actually get rid of advertising as well. So it's a pretty full version. That's why you don't see advertising here because I have paid for this M compressor. But there is a free version if you're okay with advertising of um, Melda Productions anyway, not third-party advertising, but just their own advertising you see at the bottom there. So what else besides chain compression can be used for well you can also use it for between kick and the kick drum and the bass guitar because they occupy the same frequency so it'd be good idea to side chain it so that every time the kick com the kick comes on the bass guitar lowers its volume automatically so you can actually feel the kick coming in you can also use it to a, to give a room for the vocal. If you've got a song with heavy guitars, lots of guitars in, and the vocal doesn't cut through, you can actually group the guitars into a bus and put um, a compressor with a sidechain on the guitar's bus, 
and so that the vocal will actually start side-chaining the guitars, maybe 3 dB, 2, 3 dB, or 4 dB, depends on how much you want, so that the guitars will sort of just give room, dynamic room, a headroom, for the vocals to actually stand out. And there are obviously many other applications. So if you guys know of any other compressor that you have tried that works as side-chain compression, please comment below so that everybody else can also benefit in using those compressors as well. Well, that's it. That's how easy it is. I hope this was helpful. If you have any comments or any questions about sidechain compression in Cakewalk by BandLab, feel free to comment below and uh, I'll try to answer them as, uh, um, as much as I can. And also, of course, don't forget to subscribe Give me the thumbs up if it was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell as well because without that bell, you don't get notified any future videos. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. Cheerio, guys.